What is up everyone? It's your boy Infrared. Welcome to the Scott Report. A very special Scott Report as I'm using this time just to send a personal thank you to everyone out there as I have just reached 100 subscribers. So thank you all. I know it's not a lot. It's, it's not. For me, it's a personal landmark. So it is, it's a big deal to me. I know compared to some of the other YouTubers out there, this is nothing. This is just scratching the surface. I mean, could take a hundred subscribers to, you know, people who everybody love, you know, Chibi Reviews, For Never World, The Phone 999, my personal favorite YouTuber, Sloan the Female Otaku, etc. You know, a hundred is just a scratch of the surface, but you have to stop some, you have to start somewhere. And this video is just coming from here. No cuts, no edits. It's just me talking. Me thanking you guys for your su subscriptions and you know stopping by my page and again like I said it's a big deal to me because I didn't expect to get here even though it took four months I had this page since about late February because I started with Gundam reviews late in the series I didn't expect to get to a hundred to me this fast it, it really does mean a lot and I'm just, this is my pure feeling. So I'm going to stumble over some words. I'm going to stutter a little bit because this is going to be as clean as the rest of my productions, but it's real. You guys get to see how I feel about this right now. And again, I can't thank you all enough right now. As you may know or may not know, the Scott Report is part of the Born to be Different podcast network. And I am also the co-host of a show called Imperfect Geniuses along with my best friend, um, Chucky J. On that channel, we do comic book news, reviews, and entertainment news and everything. And the Scott Report started off as an extension of that show. I used to have my own segment on that show, and I still do. However, we drop every other week. The link's in the SoundCloud. You guys definitely check that out when you have the chance. If you want to hear more from your boy and more from what we have to offer. But I used to have a segment on that show, and I still do. I review the comic books on the show now. But I had my own anime manga part of the show, and every now and then I would still sprinkle that in. But I wanted to do more. Doing YouTube, talking to you guys just like this about how I feel about anime and manga and everything. I wanted to do more, and I didn't want to hog the show. So I decided to take the show to YouTube. And I had my reservations about it at first. I had my reservations about it for a very long time. I had the same obstacles that anybody else that started a page or thinking about starting a page would have. You know, I was like, well, if nobody listens. What if people hate my videos? What if I'm not good? You know, it's those type of things out that stopped me from jumping in and doing it. But I decided to just, you know, put that aside, jump off and decide to do it anyway. And I am very happy that I decided to do so because I know my friends are probably tired of me bugging them about, hey, you need to watch this. You need to check that out. I need an avenue to get that out somewhere. And I like to thank everybody who stopped by this page and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, left me comments and feedback and everything. I really do thank you guys a lot for your time. And I can promise you that this page is only going to get better and better. I mean, I acknowledge my downsides. Like again, I say a lot of times in my videos, I'm on the West Coast. By the time I get home from work, by the time I kick back with the fam, by the time I re rewind, watch the episode, and read the manga chapter for the day, you guys could have watched anybody else's videos or seen it on YouTube 50, 100 times before you got to me, but you still stopped by here. You still checked me out. You still left a comment. You still hit the like button. And I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So thanks for the 100. Here's to 100 more, and I'll continue to stick with this and go more and more. If it ever gets to a point where I start to falter, I will definitely still bring you guys something, and I want to bring that up too because the next week or the week after next is going to be a few reviews I'm going to miss because I'm just not going to be able to do reviews. However, I still will be able to put out as much as I can because that's going to be finale week. So at the very least, um, you know, the last episode of Boku no Hero, I'll definitely bring you guys a review from that. It may be just a regular review instead of a live reaction, but on that Monday, I'll have a review for you guys. Things like ReZero and JoJo will still be going on, so I might skip those, but if I have the availability, I'm going to bring you a review for it or anything else that I missed. I think I'll still be able to get to Joker game, maybe Cabinary and some things like that. But if there's a break between the summer content and when everything ends, I'll bring you guys out as much as I can. So I apologize in advance. Um, but you know, sometimes schedule and things happen and sometimes you just got to make adjustments. You got to think on the fly. So I'll be sure to let you guys know the deal once it gets closer to that date. And 
once that happens, well, I'll just go ahead and put out whatever views I can, but I definitely want to get Boku no Hero out for you guys because that's personally one of my favorite series in this season right now. Also, something that I always wanted to do, but I don't know my way around the copyrights too well to actually execute it besides just me talking like this, which I'm pretty sure you guys will be fine with, but I want to do more. I want to bring you guys the best content possible, is to tell you my top five anime of all time, maybe even top 10, but I'm just going to do top five right now. My top five anime of all time, starting from five to one. Um, number five, Durarara. Durarara is my all-time top five, number five anime, and I know it's pretty recent, but the things that they accomplished in this series is why it's solidified number five to me, because it took, if you remember the show Heroes, it took that same premise of taking a show about everybody in one city and linking them all together and combine that so well. On top of Durarara just being great and things like that, all the reason why that's number five. Number four is Hunter Hunter. Togashi Greatness, the series is close to perfect as you can get and it continues to break the ground of Shonen because Togashi is that type of person that he always breaks Shonen and there's a lot of reasons why it's on my list of number five of all time. It's just executed so well and it's always pushing the envelope. It's another personal favorite of mine. Number three is Kuroko no Basket. Kuroko no basketball, whatever you want to call it. You know, when I started watching this series, I didn't think that a basketball anime would even scratch the surface of my top five, let alone top ten. But the series is so great. It gets you so hyped. I was on the edge of my seat almost every episode with that series. It's so much fun. It's the Dragon Ball Z, a sports anime with the zone and everything like that. Enjoyable from beginning to end. I couldn't wait for every episode. So that's why it's number three. Number two, and the only reason this is number two is because I have such a personal attachment to my number one. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Close to perfection. If it's anything that's a perfect series, that is definitely it. That's number two. And number one, if you haven't guessed it already, Yu Yu Hakusho is my personal favorite anime of all time. And I don't think that will ever change. Yoshihiro Togashi kind of turned Shonen on his head. It was kind of the alternative to Dragon Ball Z. And that's how I found it. I used to get Dragon Ball back on VHSs. I know I'm dating myself a little bit. But I used to get Dragon Ball back when it was on VHS. Bootleg subtitles. And the place that I used to get them from, you know, the owner, I was kind of cool with him. And he said, hey, I noticed you watch Dragon Ball a lot. I think you would like this. It's called Yu Yu Hakusho. And I used to see it like in magazines and like, you know, books and things like that about anime with this kid who was pointing the finger like this into the screen with beams on it. I knew what Ray Gun was, but I'd never seen it because it wasn't exactly available. And he provided me with this tape. He said it was actually a tape from the Dark Tournament. And he told me before you watch it that if you like Dragon Ball Z, this is Dragon Ball Dark. And that sent me on my quest to finding my number one. And also, it was a time where I wanted to write manga. You know, everybody had that phase where you like something so much you want to make your own. And even before I discovered the series, that character Yusuke in particular was so much like the character that I based um, my story on back then. That was a long time ago. I barely remember any other stories, but it was so close to Yu Yu Hakusho that I felt like Yu Yu Hakusho was basically what I wanted to put on paper. Not saying that I'm part Togashi greatness or anything, but it was just kind of the same thing. So yeah, that's my top five anime. Um, again, number five is Dorara. Number four is Hunter Hunter. Number three is Kuroko no Basketball. Number two is Four Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And number one is Yu Yu Hakusho. That's just a little bit about me. That's a little bit of backstory on the Scott Report and how it started and how I embarked on the journey. Because again, just like I already mentioned, I know I'm backtracking a little bit. I tried to make this channel a little bit more of variety. You know, I tried to add comic book and manga news and everything. And one, it was just a little bit too overwhelming. It was better and it was more fun for me just to give you guys my thoughts on anime. And sometimes I do think about going back into that again. But when I started reviewing Gundam and I just saw the responses and the links and the likes that I was getting from my Gundam videos, it just inspired me to say, you know what? I can do this. I looked at other YouTubers around YouTube and they inspired me to say, you know what? I can do this. I should be doing this and I'm so glad I did. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here again. I just wanted to stop by, take a little bit of your time and just personally say thank you all for everything that you've, um, thank you for coming by and stopping by my page. I told you this was going to be a very raw video. I'm 
I'm all over these words. I'm stirring them, everything, because it's just pure emotion. And I'm really happy, and I thank you all for everything that you've done. So on that note, be sure to check out my ReZero review, as I'm going to go ahead and get that for, together for you guys as well. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now if you chose to listen to me, and I really appreciate that. So welcome to anybody who just happened to stumble upon this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more. And for everybody that hit that subscribe button already, thank you again. I cannot thank you enough. Thanks for 100. Here's to 100 more. And let's stick together and see how far we can go from here. So on that note, it's your boy Infrared signing out. See you soon.